So we hear the voices of virtual assistants on our phone all the time, but it can be hard to imagine that an actual person is attached to those voices. Today, we're talking to the women behind some of the most recognizable voices we've become so familiar with, like the original voice of iPhone's Siri. Hi, this is the voice of Siri. What's the weather like today? Here's the weather for today. I found 13 restaurants matching good Chinese restaurant fairly close to New York, New York. The Angels were beaten by the Rangers yesterday. The final score was 3 to 1. Do you love me? I respect you. <laughs> Boundaries. Yes. <laughs> Another voice we hear all the time. The text to speech voice on TikTok. When you guys have been asking me if I'm the voice on TikTok. Yes, I'm the TikTok text to speech girl. My name is Kat. I love seeing your TikToks. How to make homemade burritos. First time skiing vlog. My dog is scared of water. Pav, your first time at Chipotle. Have you heard what a male koala sounds like? Doing my makeup underground. Proof that my cat is an actor. You're probably sick of my voice. I'm sick of my voice. <laughs> Please welcome to the show the original voice of Siri, Susan Bennett, and Kat Callahan, the voice yes. of TikTok's text to speech. Wow. That was quite the round of applause. It was, I think, because we all feel like we know them in a way. Yeah. Hey, Siri, just kidding. <laughs> Susan, when yes. you, uh, good to see you. Susan, when you originally recorded the voice for Siri, is this true? You didn't know it was for Siri. I want to know how it felt when you realized your voice was becoming used on millions of iPhones, and could you not sue? Uh, I tried. Okay, good call. <laughs> good, good. But the recordings were done in 2005, and they were done for a company called Nuance that provides all of these types of voices, you know, please press one type of thing. And so I was told that I was just doing some generic phone messaging voices. Wow. And so six years later when Siri appeared, I was quite... Uh, horrified, actually. Of course. <laughs> yes. What? That's my voice? That's Yikes. Oh my so, gosh. yeah, it was a big surprise. Wow. What types of things did they have you say during the recording for Siri? Because you have to say, I would think... Like that Mission Impossible, remember in that, and they make them read this? Yes, and say the passport anything? thing. Yeah. Do yeah. you have to say a bunch of stuff? Well, no, it wasn't just a couple of things that I didn't have to read every different sound. I had to read four hours a day, five days a week <gasps> for the month of July. And oh I had to read things that made no sense because they were created to get all of the sound combinations sure. in the language. So things like, say, schist fresh issue today. Whoa. Militia oi hallucinate puck pro okra ooze. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. I, I do believe I got a little brain damage from that. <laughs> They weren't even going to pick me to do that. I would still be working on it. <laughs> but Kat, you were hesitant to reveal in the first place that you were actually behind the TikTok text-to-speech voice called Jesse. How come? Well, once you tell people, Jeff, it's you can't untell them. Um, so there's that. And also, like, honestly, when when my voice of Jesse first went on the platform, she's very happy. And some people were really taken aback. I mean, a lot of these uh, speech to text or text to speech options were very monotone before this. Right. Mm. Uh, as Susan knows very well. And I didn't do that. It was a very happy, peppy situation. And so when people saw it and had heard it on TikTok, some people didn't like it. And I thought, well, maybe it'll just go away then. Maybe they're going to like delete it from the platform. But it didn't happen. And people used it more and more. So I thought, OK, maybe they don't hate me. So I'll tell them. <laughs> I got to tell you, it's kind of weird talking it to is. you. It's, it's like a robot. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I love it. What's it like getting on TikTok and hearing your voice kind of like we're surprised right now? And so many different people use it for their videos. Yeah, I love freaking people out right now. It's, it's so much fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's cool. I love, I love that people choose to use it. I do because um, it's resonating with people. In some way, I don't know what it is, but it's the most used um, option on there, which means something. And to me, it probably means that people like that uplifting voice. Yeah. So every time I see someone use it, I'm happy. If you want to use it on your platform, please use my voice. I, I love it. I think it's so cool. It is. And it's it accessible, is. too. Yes. Yeah. And you're like part of like pop culture. It's unbelievable. Okay, Susan, now I have to ask you this. You are, which is awesome, a former backup singer for Burt Baccarat. Ooh. May he rest in yes. peace. And have done yes. voiceovers and jingles for other companies. How did Siri yes. change your career? Uh, well, basically, I just became an AI person after that. <laughs> As I was saying, you know, we humans like to put people in boxes. And uh, if you do a certain thing and become known as a certain thing, uh, that ends up being, 
you know, your destiny. But I did kind of turn it into another career because I do a, a lot of speaker events mm. and I talk about the whole Siri, you know, the history and how the recordings were done. And uh, since Siri was the first one, it was uh, it was pretty unique. And the original voice, mine was the original voice was kind of cool at the very beginning because she was kind of snarky. Yeah. You know, yeah, Siri, you know, yes. you would ask Siri questions and she would tell you what she thought. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's like you're the weakest link kind of woman. There was a little snark there. Well, I, you know, I, w <laughs> Absolutely. I, w I want to stick with the voices conversation because I have to ask you, Kat, have you ever used the Jesse voice in public just to get a reaction? Like, that's all I would do. I wouldn't even be on the show right now. That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like I said, I love freaking people out about it. I was out with some girlfriends for dinner once and they were like, you know, we were just having fun. I think I was already one drink and not gonna lie. And then uh, they were like, oh, do, do the voice. And the server came back and I, I started to order my meal like this and just <laughs> It was hilarious because the server did not look like they were having a fun time at first, and then they're like, wait a minute, and I made them smile, so that made me smile. I like it. It's what like universal. Gift. I think that's what great. Susan, what has been the craziest reaction you've gotten from people when they realize you are the voice of Siri? It, it's somewhat intimate, your relationship with Siri, right? Like, what did they... What's, yes, you know? I, I used to get so many uh, emails and texts from people just saying, oh, I love you. I talk to you all the time. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, well, I, you know, the feeling's not mutual. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, know you. It's, um, it's kind of strange, but uh, people still, you know, uh, like a little boy came up for Halloween and he said, someone said that you're Siri. And I said, yes, I am. And he said, you don't sound like Siri. And I said, how about now? Whoa. <laughs> That's and crazy. Then he went, that is crazy. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Have you two ever met in person? Just now. No, just, just now. We were just, just talking. <laughs> Yeah, we were just talking to one another right before we went on, and I was like, oh my gosh, you know how many times I've talked about Susan Bennett, especially recently with my reveal, people bring up, and Siri's a real person. I'm like, I know. Her name is Susan, Susan Bennett. Bennett. Good for you guys. That's great. That's great. Kat, have you had any crazy reactions like that uh, waiter? I would have been freaked out. Yeah, um, actually, oh. more, more recently, more recently, I was um, at the mall and I was getting popcorn from a popcorn kiosk and <laughs> random. But then there was a guy ahead of me in line and I was talking to someone and he turned around. And he's like, are you voice of cat? And it wasn't my name. It was just voice of cat, which is my username. And I was like, oh, yeah. And he just everybody, the voice of TikTok, <laughs> give her free popcorn. I'm like, I don't need free popcorn. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to leave. I'm going to take good. the free popcorn. It's because we all <laughs> yeah. know you. I've never seen our comments light up this fast because everybody has a Siri or a cat TikTok story. In fact, uh, one of our viewers, Sherry Darden, wrote in, I have cursed Siri at times. <laughs> she always tells me that wasn't nice. <laughs> Can yeah. you do that, well, Susan, in your voice, in your that wasn't nice Siri voice? Well, what I can say is be careful what you say to Siri because she knows where you live. Yo! <laughs> I see a horror movie. I too. When she broke into that yes. last one, I was like, that's creepy. Like the Winnie the Pooh, it would be seriously? <laughs> yes. Murder? Well, that's my handle, at Seriously Susan. Yeah. How cute is that? I'm very into this. Susan, you better so she's write. already thought of it. Yeah, okay. you better write yourself some horror film because we would all show up to the theater so to good. see that. Oh, Free yes, popcorn. please hire me. Yes, Heck yes. I'm so Heck yes. <laughs> Susan and Kat, thank you so much for joining Enjoy. us today. What a treat. DBL Nation, Susan is available for all, for all types of voiceover work through the Vox Agency. And Kat Callahan is available on Cameo for personalized oh, videos. Cool. How yeah. fun is that? We'll be right back. So thank great. you. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thanks.